Welcome back to my channel. I cannot believe I did not install this. I'm such an idiot. Let's just get into the video. So here's why I'm an idiot. I came home about a week and a half ago and unfortunately I had a nice water leak going on in the bathroom. And I wish I installed the water leak sensor that my wife got me at Christmas time. My wife looked at me and said, guess what? Your house is not that smart if you forget to install a water leak sensor. Boy, is she right. So today, we're installing the Miros water leak sensor. Unfortunately, you're going to need their hub that is required to get the water leak sensor into Apple Home or Alexa or SmartThings or Google. So let me show you guys what this thing looks like, and then we'll get right into it. So this is what the water leak sensor looks like here. And I'm going to tell you guys right now, it has a good amount of weight to it, which I really like. And it's also pretty big. And I'll explain why I like the weight of this in a couple minutes. But let me tell you guys a little bit more about this device. This device here is IP rated 67. Basically, it's waterproof. You can put this inside a cup of water. It will not short out and it will keep on working. Also, it has a CR123A battery. They say it lasts up to about 18 months. Unfortunately, I haven't had mine that long to tell you guys if that's true or not. This also works in a high humidity area. So if this was inside your basement or garage and there was a lot of humidity, it will not cause this thing to go off and saying that there is a water leak when there actually isn't. It also will work in a dusty environment too, which is actually pretty good. Because if I was to put this inside my basement and there's some dust in there, I want to make sure that this is still going to work. Now that I told you guys a little bit about this device, now let's test this thing out and see what it does in Apple Home. All right, I got a Tupperware container that's got about a quarter of water in it. Water leak sensor. They say this is up to 80 decibels. I'm going to have you guys listen and you tell me what you guys think. So I want to see how fast this reacts to Apple Home. And here we go. So, well, that was pretty quick. That doesn't sound like it's 80 decibels. So, after dunking this inside the water, I did notice one thing. It said 80 decibels. I don't think it was 80 decibels which is okay because I could just create an automation that says that there's a water leak inside the bathroom, which is fine by me. I'm going to do that anyways. Even if it was 80 decibels, I'm still going to do it. Also, this thing responded wicked fast inside my Apple Home, and that's what I needed. I also told you that I like the weight of this, and the reason why I say that is if I ever get a good enough water leak inside my house, this thing is not going to move on me. It is pretty heavy, and I actually have another one here. And I just want to do a little side-by-side side side comparison here. And you can actually see a big difference. This one's by Akara and this one is the Miros one. And you could actually tell there is a big difference here in size and everything, which I like. I would probably put this one next to my toilet. So where would you guys put one of yours? These things are great to have next to a hot water heater, washer machine, dishwasher, underneath the sink, by a toilet. Tell me where you guys would put it. Drop a comment below. I would love to know where you guys are going to put yours. And also, make sure you hit that like button for me. Hit that subscribe button for me. It helps my channel grow. If you want to follow any of my social media, description is down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one.